Hello guys, today I want to sit up swing from Della Hero. Especially the time when you play Della Hero, it's very important to grab the collar to control the posture. But sometimes it's not available to do. In that case, see, I want to show you the way to attack to sit up. Like ankle pick, arm drag, and single leg takedown. Let's get started. Okay, like I explained, so here you see I play Della Hero. Then in order for me to play the regular Della Hero, I will have the collar grip on this side. Then, I have a lot of options to attack. But sometimes, right, it's not about to do it. He cuts it like this, you see? And then, if I stay here, it's easy to make his position like this, and then I'm in trouble. So that's why I'm going to make the sleeve grip like this, you see, on this side. Not the cross grip today, like this. Whenever I have a chance, I look for the cut grip like this. But this time, he's a bit cautious, you see, here. It's, uh, his cut is a little away from me. So that case, I wanna shift to the ankle pick. It's more like a stand-up sweep, see? As you keep sway on his left leg like this, I can easily move my body side to side. So when the time I shift to the first sweep, I step the floor like this. Then, I come up with my elbow, see? Then, when the time I do the movement, I wanna make sure I keep on pulling sleep like this, see? Then, next thing, the most important part, I'm gonna take off the Della Heber, then my knee comes around his heel, here. This is, quite, uh, this is quite similar to technical stand-up, you see? What I like is taking a stand from this position. As I do so, I can pick his ankle, see? So from here, I raise my hips up, then look at the like this. And then, I take top position. Then, other option, I can even try like her every two sweep once like this. As he doesn't like a sweat, he's gonna make wider stance. Like this. You see, in that case, it's much easier for me, you see? As you can see, his weight is completely shifted to the other side. This leg is really light. Then he cannot even react to my attack a couple of seconds. So here, I step the floor, leg of the heel grip, in this position, you see? I'm not gonna push him forward, right? The structure is ankle pick, right? From now, I'm gonna pull my left leg behind, as if I do a technical stand-up, you see? As I pick it off, he's going to lose his balance, like this. See, then I take top position. Okay, second one, I wanna shift to the sit up curve. See, instead of trying last technique from this position, I'm going to sit up, see? I'm gonna sit up by swinging the leg here, see? And then I automatically hide his right leg with my left arm. Then, first thing I wanna take as an advantage is this, you see, I make two on one. See, I already made a grip like this, then by the time I have his leg, I wanna make another grip like this, see? So what's I make? It's pretty difficult for me to cut the grip. Even if he tries to cut the grip, see? I can make it a position for a while. And then from now, I want to sweep. This is as like her arm drop. So here, I'm not like going to grip on my right hand, and then, so here, you see, when I turn my cup is elbow joint, I want to slightly bend his elbow, you see? This is how I make him arm balance, you see? Even though he has posture up like this, I bend his elbow, you see? He's taking his body weight to the side, you see? And then when I turn my shift to the attack, I take it off, and then, I scoop my hips to the side. Then I will bring down to the ground like this, you see? Yeah, he's gonna pass his hand or something like this, but I'm already in a really complicated grip on him. He cannot even come back to the original position, see? I keep the grip with my hands, then I'm gonna get on my knees, and then I sweep him. Oh, well, I can even make him step back with this leg, and then I sit up, see? As soon as I sit up, I wanna take an advantage by making two on one, like this. This is gonna be very important, see? If I only have one of them like this or this, he may be able to cut the grip. Right? So until I shift the attacking mode, I wanna keep two on one like this. This is pretty strong, like this. Then, arm drag. I let go of the grip on my right hand. I cut his elbow, you see? I'm not gonna cut from this side. This is the same as regular arm, arm drag, like this. Then, even though it's a posture like this, once I bend, I can bring his head down, see? This, can you push up? It's much harder, you see? In order for me to make posture, he needs to cross his elbow. Let's avoid it here, I avoid it. Then, I want to have the maximum leverage to sweep him, so I have to step the floor. Then, I don't even rely on my arms, right? As if I scoop my hips to the left side, 
That's how I bring it down to the ground. So from here, I scoop my hips. See, he goes down like this, right? And then I shift to the sweep, or if he stays on his knees, see, I attach the turtle. Okay, the next one, see? The same as the last technique, I will make a tool like this, right? So in order for me to complete the last technique, I have to open his elbow like this, see? This time he's more cautious, you see? He's more like shaking his body weight on the far side, see? In that case, even though I can cap his elbow, it's pretty difficult. But on the other hand, you see, there's no pressure on me. I can easily stand up from this position. I shift to the single leg takedown. So here, you see, he's cautious. So in that case, I want to look for the color grip like this. Then I try the last one, but this time you see he's a bit cautious. Now he gives me a momentum to sit up, you see? By the time he goes away, I want to tap my feet in. And then I just want to follow him. Then I can stand up like this, see? So this is pretty good position. I already connect the near side sleeve with the color grip like this, see? I'm going to do a single leg takedown. This is more like Jiu Jitsu takedown, see? From here, I'm going to get my head up. I take a big step back here, and then I'm going to bring him down to the ground. I show you one. So here I take a step back, and then I bring him down. See, even from this position, I can stand up like this without grabbing a collar, but I prefer to reach the collar like this. This is more leverage for me to stand up. See, I pull him once when he comes back. Look, like this. Then, generally speaking, in Jiu Jitsu, when you do a single leg takedown, you want to keep the head in front of his face not to get trapped in the next submissions. But as you can see, you see, as I've already controlled the right side's arm, he cannot attack my neck, even though I expose my neck. This, uh, attack my neck. It's impossible, right? This is an advantage in this technique, right? On the other hand, if I grab a fast side sleeve like this, I have to be careful. If I go like this, he's able to attack my neck. So, near side, you don't have to worry about getting submitted. So, you can expose the neck like this. Then, cut it, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna push him forward, right? Sorry, let me have one more second. Just a little more second. So here, I'm gonna take a big step back, see? And then, as if I bow, right? Then I bring him down. So, like a Jesus takedown. 